Hey guys, welcome to this week's Hot or Not Thursday. I am going to be sharing with you all of my pros and cons and overall thoughts on the brand new Too Faced collaboration with Nikki Tutorials. This is what the palette looks like. Can we just get excited about how gorgeous the packaging is, how fun gold um, like animal print. I just, I freaking love the packaging. I like anything gold. So that immediately won me over that there is like metallic finishing on here. I know the formulation of Too Faced shadows are phenomenal. I really love all the chocolate bars. So when I have been watching from the sidelines, seeing that the collaboration was like getting closer to launch, that Too Faced and Nikki Tutorials came together and made this incredible little collection, I was just dying to get my hands on it. I mean, you're gonna see what the swatches. They tell the story straight away. I have started doing something that was really of your guys' request and I want to apologize because at first I was like, who does that? No one does that. I've never seen this on YouTube. And what I'm talking about is brush swatching. A lot of people were saying that you cannot tell if a shadow is good just by kind of picking it up with your fingertip, which I tend to agree. There are so many times when I have on the back of my hand gone, oh, well, that's gorgeous. And then you try to apply it and blend things out with a brush and it works a lot differently. So in the past, I have always tried to give you guys swatches to show you the tones of the colors, but then I tried to explain to you my experience of how the shadow performed, blended, wore, all of that good stuff. But now you guys seem to like me actually taking a brush dipping it in the product and giving you a side-by-side -side swipe to see how the pigmentation is, how it blends out. I also want to add before we jump in that it is Thursday, which means I will be in the live chat on Style Code Live tonight. My hot product of the week will be on, so please come join me, say hi. Link will be in the description box below. It airs 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific. And other than that, which I hope to see you there, and let's just get to the kit itself and let me show you everything that comes in here. You do not just get this palette with eyeshadows, blushes, bronzer, and highlight. You actually get other additional items in this box. So you also get a Too Faced Shadow Insurance. This is just an eyeshadow primer. I actually use this today as my glitter glue as well. Even though I own the Too Faced glitter glue, I still wanted something kind of tacky to kind of press on top of the shadow and apply the glitter and it worked great. In all fairness, it did not work as well as the glitter glue, but pretty close. And I just did not feel like standing up and rifling through my stuff and getting out of focus. So I used this and it worked just fine. It got the job done. So I also decided to use just a tiny bit of felt tip liner, which is included in the kit. The packaging on this is adorable. It actually looks like a pen, which is hysterical to me. I don't know why, it just, it looks like a felt tip pen. So this is the sketch marker. This is in the shade black. And I just use this ever so lightly to conceal my lash band. I didn't do a winged liner or anything like that. I just kind of wanted the shadow to do its own thing and not have a wing distracting from all of the magic. I did actually follow Nikki's little tutorial that comes... I followed Nikki's tutorial that comes in the Nikki tutorial palette. <laughs> Here you get step-by-step -step little instructions on how to create different looks with this palette. And I always think it's kind of fun to sit down and actually do the steps and see if what you come up with looks awesome or awful. Because I've had both. I have had the kits where you're like, okay, I'm putting um, pink highlight right under the brow bone. It says to, but it ends up looking horrible. These actually make sense step by step. You are getting like the quickest little tutorial of your life and the colors blend so well that I feel like even a makeup beginner could follow these step by step instructions. And you know, if you don't want to follow an instruction booklet like this, you can just go to her channel because she has the best tutorials on YouTube. I'm gonna kind of fangirl right now, but literally I don't watch that many beauty channels. I know that sounds crazy, but I'm like always filming. I'm like film, 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 film. Nikki is someone that I watch just because her skill with makeup just, I feel like I'm, I'm like watching Bob Ross and like happy clouds and painting. Like I kind of zone out and I love that. I love that I'm getting something really colorful, interesting, different, maybe not always looks that I would wear on a day-to-day -day basis, but it makes me feel really creative and I just enjoy watching her videos. So my point is you get instructions in here or you can go to her channel, of course. 
So this is the look that I did today. This is called Glitter is the New Black. So the first thing that I did was I went in with Painkiller in the crease. Now, when I swatched this, I was like, ooh, you, I'm not seeing this on my skin. This is kind of maybe disappointing. And I have to say, this is actually one of my favorite colors in the kit. It makes blending your crease so easy. You cannot mess this up. It doesn't get patchy. It doesn't fly all over the place. It just gives you this beautiful, just like halo of color outline so that you can go in with these more wild colors and have something for them to blend into. So first I went in with Painkiller just on a fluffy crease brush. And then I went in with Mystic Hour, which is my favorite color of the whole shebang. I mean, this might not be appropriate for me to wear every day of my life, but I just love this color. I could just stare at this all day long. I love this color so much. Uh, this one blended beautifully, by the way. Sometimes these more metallic, deep teal colors just kind of will not seamlessly go over the lid and blend and do what you want it to do. This one was smooth as satin. I love it. So I went on the edge with Mystic Hour a little bit in the crease. Then we moved on to Frosted Yum all over the lid. It's as expected, just a nice bright shadow. It has a nice effect paired with Mystic Hour. And then I did go on top with the loose glitter. Be careful. My one kind of con for this kit, if I could like search for something that I really don't like about this kit. This does not have a sifter and when I was first sitting down to do swatches, I opened this up just kind of assuming that it did and I spilled glitter everywhere. So be warned, it's completely loose. The good thing about that is you can just dip your finger straight in and get a boatload of glitter and you're done, but um, be warned, there is no sifter. From there, what I did was I curled my lashes, I applied mascara, and then I went to the lower lash line and I mixed makeup and chill and wanted and just kind of smudged out and smoked out the lower lash line. I applied some falsies and called it good. So this was actually a pretty easy look to achieve. You don't have to be super skilled. We're not doing a cut crease. There's no crazy liner. Anyone could do this look and I think it's beautiful. I really, really like it. It's something kind of different for me and I'm enjoying it. So uh, yeah, moving on from there. So let's take a look at all of the colors swatched and brush swatched. Uh, we will start with the top row. We have Ivy, which Nikki Tutorials, why do I always, ah, oh, stop doing that. It's so annoying. I call people by their channel name if their actual name is in their channel name. I need to, I'm, I would be that person that would be like, hi, Nikki Tutorials, even though that's not her freaking name. It's just Nikki. Like, stop. Nikki said on her channel that Ivy was designed to be a crease color for someone like herself that has very, very fair skin. It helps her to blend different colors out a little bit better, and she has always had a tough time finding that type of a shade. So this is not an intense matte cream color that is going to give you like a punch of absolute opaque you know, really intensity. Do you know what I'm saying? The way that I used this was to just pat and set that um, eyeshadow primer all over the lid. If you are more fair, you can definitely use this to blend out other colors. And then next door, we have Sugar Coated. This is beautiful. I think that I could do a very similar look to what I'm wearing today, but put Wham Bam, the purple shade, down in the third row on the outer edge and then use Sugar Coated more on the center and do essentially the same mermaidy look but more purple toned so next to that is frosted yum really gorgeous swatches very evenly does have a little bit of grittiness to it it has a little bit of micro shimmer in there like little silver little silver kisses and it's very very pretty irresistible is bomb I love this. I would have worn this today because I'm really, really drawn to it, but I can just hear you guys in the back of my head, you do the same look all the time. And I'm trying so hard to get out of that. But my problem is then I do something like this and you guys are like, you're too old to wear that. Why you, you're not, you're like a mom trying to be cool. I just can't win. Irresistible is gorgeous. You could just wear it on its own. It's gold, it's gorgeous. It's not obnoxious gold. It's like a very wearable gold, but it's still so 
bright and shiny and beautiful. Then next to that, of course, we have Painkiller, which is the best crease color I've come across in a very long time. I will be reaching for this palette specifically to use that almost every day. Next to that, we have Makeup and Chill, which is very evenly pigmented. It has almost a warm kind of red almost kind of red undertone going on and it's really beautiful, completely matte. Then we have Mystic Hour, which as we can see on my eyes, it performs really, really well. Next to that, Wham Bam. It's not as smooth as Mystic Hour, but you can build it up, you can get it there. You could use this with a little bit of MAC Fix Plus and it will absolutely, I'm gonna show you with a little bit of MAC Fix Plus. You can definitely get it to be more deep and opaque but it still wants to stay very bright. It doesn't transform into like a deep royal purple. It's still very, very bright. Next to that, we have Wanted, which is a really rich black pigment. Something that's a little bit different about this one compared to all of my other black eyeshadows, which I kid you not, I one day sat down with all of my palettes and I swatched my arm up with all of my black shadow because I wanted to see the differences in texture. I wanted to see which ones were richest. I wanted to see which ones I should use, you know, as eyeliner. This one is not as rich as some of my black eyeshadows. However, it blends really beautifully and this one is really excellent if you are going to be putting this on the outside of your eye to kind of smoke things out. It's not going to apply so much at a time. You can build it up. It's not going to apply so much at a time that it's out of control but it layers. See, I keep layering it up and it's so smooth. So it's a very functional black eyeshadow and I do appreciate that. All right, moving on to blushes. You have I Will Always Love You. Love that song. Which is a gorgeous, really amped up peachy blush. Then next to that, we have Justify My Love, which once upon a time was one of my most favorite songs ever. Love Madonna. Um, okay, so those two I mixed together plop them on the cheeks, and I think it's really wearable and pretty. What I'm most excited about when you get away from the eyeshadows is this highlighter, Champagne Truffle. It's just, it's very magical. I have this like piled on the inner corner of my eye. I have it all over my cheeks. I have it as the highlight down the bridge of the nose. It's this pinky, really pale baby pink but with this little kiss of golden something mixed in that's just it's just a really really unusual and pretty highlight and then of course you have the chocolate soleil bronzer which is something that Too Faced is famous for so you really have everything you need for a full face minus your foundation and concealer um, because you do also get a mascara which is exciting um, I didn't want to pair it with this look, but I love purple mascara, especially for green eyes, brown eyes, and also purple happens to be my very favorite color of all time, so I love that. This is a nice deluxe size sample of something that you can't purchase on the regular Too Faced display. So this you have to get in the Nikki Tutorials kit. I love the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I've talked about that one so many times, so many times. It makes your lashes just like explode. Um, to the point where you might want to skip falsies sometimes, not all the time. I kind of feel like a different person when I skip my falsies, to be honest. Um, okay, so that is what you get in the kit. I think it's really well done. Um, I kind of had a feeling, knowing that it was Too Faced, that the quality of the shadows was going to be nothing but the best and pretty standard for what they produce. I'm a huge fan of the Too Faced line. And also I am kind of inspired to maybe do a different look, come up with something myself with this kit right here and do the Power of Makeup, which is actually Nikki's, you know, big viral video that was so inspirational for so many. And I myself really just took something so positive from that video. It's where she does half of her face with full glam makeup and the other half is bare. And of course the Too Faced kit here is actually called the Power of Makeup. So I'm half tempted to do that. I don't know why I never did that one. Let me know in the comments if you think that would be interesting to watch or if that's too far in the past and like maybe, maybe not. I don't know, I'm like 50-50. So 
This is obviously a hot palette. I really enjoy it. Huge like thumbs up. I love it. I'm going to be using it a lot. The swatches speak for themselves. So there you have it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. If you want to hang out with me even more, then come to Style Code Live tonight, 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific. The link will be in the description box below. I love you guys, and I will see you next time. Mwah.